Hey, what's up guys? Thomas back with another Lincense video. Today we have a fragrance from Baldessarani, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home and work on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me at some little kid's birthday that you have no idea who it is, but you're there because wife is drugging you along. Man, however and wherever you watch me, it is an honor. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Man, if you are at that kid's birthday party, at least pay somewhat attention, okay? Don't just be on the phone all damn day. But if you do, go upstairs, take a dump, and watch me there, okay? So with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance, Paul the Serrani. Now, I actually, man, the beginning uh, of this uh, fragrance journey, Paul the Serrani Amber was pretty much the first Baldus Ronnie fragrance that I've ever reviewed. What a sexy, boozy, the sweet, just a luscious, beautiful date night fragrance. But man, I'm ashamed that I gave that one away, okay? And it, you know, that again, that was in the beginning of the journey. It, it, it was, I don't even know why I gave it away. I think it was uh, generosity, to be honest, because here's the thing, when you have a big collection, okay? And even at that time, the collection wasn't as big, but I still had enough to get by, okay? But when you have a huge collection like this, there's only so many fragrances that you can use. No matter how much you like something, you're still gonna have to, you know, if you have like 30 fragrances, you might have five date night fragrances. You know, you just have so many, and, and you know, sometimes again, I think I maybe had too many at that time still, and I gave it away shamely disgustingly but mr michael larusa if you're watching i gotta thank you for this one because this is actually a fragrance that he traded with me and i'm pretty sure maybe if he's looking at it now he's a little bummed out because i believe this fragrance might be discontinued now i'm also sad because you know whenever i bring you something that i'm really excited about okay i've had two days with this fragrance okay Whenever I have something that I'm so excited about, man, unless it is just just hard to find or discontinued, it, it makes me sad because I really want everyone to smell this juice, okay? This juice, in my opinion, is one of the sexiest, and at the time when it probably came out, was probably the cheapest fragrance you're gonna find. That is this bad boy, Balta Serrani Ultimate. This is what it says at the top separates the boys from the men and boy does it ever okay we got some citrus notes we have some leather we have some pink pepper we have some freesia we have some magnolia we have some jasmine we have all this stuff we have all that we have some amber patchouli lavender we have all that good stuff okay but man this smells eerily Okay? Now, if you've smelled amber, okay, you know that boozy, sweet, ambery, like vanilla sm smell, okay? You get that with this, with almost like this slighty, fruity, peppery smell. Again, pink pepper kind of has that fruity, kind of peppery, kind of rosy smell. So when you smell this, you're going to think of rosy. You're going to think of boozy. You get that leather. You get the spicy. You get all the florals. Man, you really don't... Okay, so when I said all the florals, like, yeah, I'm, I'm pinpointing Jasmine, though. Man, this is a fragrance more honestly that when you spray it, it is such an alluring fragrance. It's such a sexy date night fragrance. And honestly, if it doesn't last more than, you know, eight hours, honestly, I don't think it needs to because I think you're going to wear this at date night. Boom, you're going to spray it. And wifey is going to love the way you smell and she's going to want to take you back home because I wore this last night. And wifey was kind of sniffing. Wifey was sniffing around like a damn bloodhound. But here's the bottle. Okay, there we go. Baldo Serrani. Nice, thick bottle. There goes the ultimate nice cap as well. Nice and got a nice little weight to it. But nonetheless, this bottle is just elegant. Very nicely done. You can't beat that. Okay, there you go at the bottom. Again, this fragrance I think is discontinued. So if I can find it, I will put it somewhere down below. But man, I don't know, man. That, that's... That's the problem with some of these fragrances. They're so good, and then a fragrance that was only $30 all of a sudden because it's discontinued, someone wants to throw it up there for, you know, $200. I mean, come on. 
be, be real. I mean, if, you, if you're going to try to make some kind of money off, you don't have to make like a $400 profit. You know, this is not like a Michael Jordan rookie card, okay? This is not like that. This is it's still a fragrance, and there's other fragrances probably that smell just like it, okay? So, but nonetheless, here it is, Baldus Rani. Okay, look. I know I've been yapping. I've been yapping a lot. So, I wore this last night, right out the shower. I wore it a day ago just to kind of wear it. And again, this is a sexy, beautiful, manly fragrance. Yes, a woman could rock this easily. I would probably throw on something maybe. If you were to wear this, ladies, layer this maybe with a little bit more of a white floral fragrance. Get some kind of white florals pumping and then get these spices that kind of flow in afterwards. But this is more of a manly fragrance, in my opinion. Again, women, you can rock this if you want, but man, this is for men. Man, this is... Man, when that leather and that kind of that citrus kind of work together with that pink pepper giving it that fruity kind of almost spicy rosy smell, man, mixed with that leather, mixed with a little bit of that mandarin orange or whatever the hell citrus is in here, I think is mandarin. Man, this thing is just so sexy. My goodness, I honestly, I really like this fragrance. This fragrance is definitely, I'm ashamed that it's been sitting around for quite a while because I actually got this from Mr. Michael LaRussa probably almost a year ago, probably get close to almost a year ago, maybe six, seven months ago, maybe close to a year, who knows, but it's just been sitting there. You know, I've been so caught up with the Middle Easterns, obviously Middle Easterns are good, and honestly, because some of you guys don't watch when I do uh, like designer fragrances, I only get the views when I do the Middle Eastern. So obviously, if you guys watch a little bit more of the designers, then I'll do some more of those. But that thing's been sitting for like six, seven months. And I am ashamed that I've let it go on this long without opening it, without spraying it, without smelling it. It is a shame that it just sat over in that corner, sitting over there like a troubled young little boy that was told to go into the corner because he is on timeout this fragrance was on timeout for far too long man this is a date night fragrance it's like ambry it's almost spicy it's kind of rosy it's kind of sweet it's got a little bit of citrus got that leather man this fragrance is so dang good you guys man i think and I haven't even I watched a full review on this, but I've seen multiple reviews. None of them were from the like the big guys. Like I mean, I think maybe there's a couple of the big uh, fragrance um, reviewers. Like a few of them had it, but not like the big ones, big BB, uh, Cubanos, and all that. Or I think Jensen's might have had this, but not all the other ones. But man, something tells me if that was in a Tom Ford bottle, if that was a Creed, if that was a new Dior, if that was a new Gucci, if that was a new Spice Bomb, that thing would be talked about at the highest level because it is that damn good. If you guys can find that fragrance, man, especially if you can get it. Again, you're going to have to try to beat those discontinued prices. If you can find it, if you see it, maybe you want to try to trade with someone. Again, sometimes these fragrances are on fragrance groups. Go out there and get it. If it's out there, trade something, okay? Something that you don't like. I'm telling you, you are going to like this fragrance. This fragrance just smells so good, you guys. Again, ambery, leathery, citrusy, floral, rosy, pink, peppery, all that good stuff. Man, and let me tell you one more thing that makes this fragrance so good. Not only does it make for a great date night fragrance, it makes for a lovely fragrance to just spray in the bed. You clean the sheets, you got the blanket down, the comforter, whatever the hell you got. You spray it over that bed maybe a good hour before you go and lay down. Man, the scent is so sensual, so sexual, so desirable that it is gonna put you in the mood to get frisky, to go to sleep afterwards, to wake up in the middle of the night, get frisky again. It's so dang good, you guys. I'm telling you, go out there and check it out. If you get a chance, Baldus Rani Ultimate. In my opinion, I think this is slightly better than Amber. I remember what Amber smelled like, and the Amber is just as good. This is slightly better, slightly better, okay? But there you go.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.